A very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Scheffler press conference at the IAA Mobility. We are very glad to welcome all those following us via the Internet, and we are especially glad about those who came here in person, and we are very glad that this has become possible. Over the next 15 minutes, our CEO, Mr. Rosenfeld, and our board member Automotive Technologies will guide you through some novelties in Scheffler's automotive section. We will have an opportunity for those of you who would like to ask questions can do so afterwards here on site, unfortunately not via the Internet. However, if you have questions, of course, you are very welcome to contact our communication colleagues. Well, we don't have a lot of time, so I'd like to pass the floor to Mr. Rosenfeld. Thank you, Dr. Williger. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you very warmly. I am very glad, Ms. Müller, that as a VDA president, you are here today. I'm very glad to welcome you, and I'd like to thank you very much for the great preparation of the IA. I think despite all the challenges, you did a great job and we are very glad to be here in this great hall. I'd like to be very brief. Let me start with page one. The slides are in English. I will speak German. You know, Scheffler is an automotive supplier and an industry supplier. And most of our business comes from automotive. Dear Mr. Zink, you see here we are a global company with a considerable share outside of Europe, China 23%, America 21%. So we also represent global transformation that we see in this industry. We decided in favor of the industry in 2019 already what is our approach, what is important to us. Well, our claim is we pioneer motion. And this is something which briefly clearly reflects what Scheffler wants. We stand for pioneering a future directed course innovation and this is exactly what we'd like to present at this fair. Our roadmap, our strategy for the next years has three major questions. Where do we play? How do we want to win? Very important transformation lives of the fact that there are winners. And how do we create value sustainably? And this is the red thread that we defined in recent days to make sure that the structure for our automotive section is fine-tuned. And I'd like to show you what it looks like on the next slide. What are we experts in? The components we come from, our bread and butter business. You see it here on the trade show. And it also covers the whole system approach. We have a strong, and I like to call it classical business, but in recent years we also discovered new business areas for ourselves and develop them. You see it in the metrics. Normally, Scheffler is associated with the IC engine, which is correct, we like it, but this does not mean we only focus on it. And we split our business in two different directions. First of all, everything that depends on the IC engine or is powertrain specific and the business that is not related to the powertrain. And if you look at this, you have four different clusters. Bottom right, our classical business, engine and transmission, is a business we want to continue and where we want to generate benefit for the customer. Then the e-mobility business, we are convinced that our e-mobility business can only become profitable if we take the past with us and we are on the right track here. And to the left, the classical bearings business, which in the fine-tuned version is pooled. The bearing business is something which techno technologically will be interesting in future. It goes beyond the powertrain and it entails a lot of potential also when it comes to technology. And the fourth cluster, chassis mechatronics, Mr. Zink will give you all the examples, another area where we want to grow and where we see a lot of potential. And putting it in a nutshell, 
This nutshell means, well, we want to be the preferred, and I'd like to stress the preferred technology partner of our customers. This is why we're here on the trade show. We want to show progress, innovation, and we want to, of course, make as many customers as possible excited about the Scheffler business. And with this, I'd like to hand over to Mr. Zing to the great examples that you see here. Thank you very much, Mr. Rosenfeld, and a very warm welcome from my part with Scheffler here at the booth and also in front of the screens. What will move us next, ladies and gentlemen? Of course, e-mobility will move us, no doubt about it. Our vision 304030 has become a realistic scenario in the whole industry within a few years, and we are deeply convinced that electrification will further accelerate. Our transformation is going full blast, and now with pride we look at a strong order lock of more than 11 billion euro, and we are glad that together with Mr. Scheffler in Hungary, we will open a plant in Hungary to produce e-motors and hybrid drives next week. Together with our Electromobility Competence Center in Bühl of the automotive headquarters, we are ready for tomorrow's mobility. But this is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Our claim, Klaus Rosenfeld mentioned it, is we pioneer motion. And the more we deal with e-mobility, the more we understand how much innovation potential e-drive still have. And I'd like to demonstrate this with three examples using the Scheffler e-Axel here as my example. With a consistent make and buy strategy, we are working on a highly efficient, high-performing power electronics with 800 volt for passenger cars as well as for commercial vehicles. Among others, we are further developing the cooling of e-motors. Here you see the example of slot cooling, where with continuous and peak performance, we are further exhausting these areas in order to have motors with more power density. And last but not least, very important, we intensely deal with the thermal management of the powertrain, but also of the vehicle as a whole, to integrate it into the vehicle. And here, by the way, we benefit from the foundation know-how, classical know-how of thermal management in the IC engine. And we see a lot of potential when it comes to comfort and range compared to the initial generations of e-vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the question, what will move us next? Apart from e-mobility, we intensely deal with new mobility, which is the motto of the IAA mobility here, and we deal with the topic of autonomous driving. And rather earlier than later, we will have to question some of our, our favorite functions, for example, steering. Given all the functionalities, comfort and driver assistance functions and autonomous driving will need, we are sure that the steering column will disappear soon. Based on the space drive technology we acquired in 2018 and the experience of Paravan Company, and together with our partner Ronald Arnold, we are developing steer-by-wire solutions for serious applications following our claim, We Pioneer Motion. In the animation and later on in the exhibition, you see the initial ideas for adjustable um, steering columns and adjustable systems, and we see a lot of innovation potential here apart from the classical powertrain. Our steer-by-wire solution is proving itself currently under toughest conditions. This year we are competing in different racing series with by-wire steering systems, and here the illustration shows an application in the Scheffler concept car DTM Electric to the left in the video. The vehicle, by the way, is to be seen live here on the left-hand side of the stage. And I have to be honest, I'm very glad that we have it here today because it only returned from the Red Bull ring from Spielberg and it went through a world premiere. The fully electric 
um, by wire 1200 PS vehicle was controlled by a gamer, a simulator driver in Graz, and it drove 70 kilometers away without a driver. You see it by the turning or spinning steering wheel in Spielberg at the racetrack with 180 kilometers per hour. It's not an autonomous vehicle, but a remotely controlled vehicle with an enormous data rate and um, if you're familiar with the latencies, milliseconds, and so on, you may imagine what kind of giant step this was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is racing, but the motto from race to road does exist at Scheffler. The findings from electric drives, the by-wire functions, and the control of the vehicle and the integration of the vehicle is realized in our rolling chassis you see on the right hand side, which is a scalable base platform for different applications. And Mr. Rosenfeld, as we cannot do everything on our own and we don't want to do so, I'm very glad to be able to present here today at IAA Mobility another highlight, which is our cooperation with Mobile Eye. Together with Johann Jungwitz's team, whom I'd like to join me on stage as a new partner, so together with Johann Jungwitz's team, in a cooperation with powerful implementation, we want to familiarize ourselves with different applications and ecosystems. And I think we can say that we already have very promising projects. So a very warm welcome to you, Mr. Jungwitz. I look forward to the partnership with you. Our Scheffler scope of supply is the rolling chassis you see here with new drive and steering ideas and as you can see at the top left with an optimum maneuverability, including a scalable battery. And I think I'm not promising too much if I tell you we, with Johan, we pioneer motion. With scalable platforms, Scheffler control units, highly flexible vehicle topology, and also with ideas, and you can see this here as well when it comes to the charging technology. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, we'd like to present our pioneering spirit and our innovations and new Scheffler in transformation in halls B3 and B4 and with a vehicle exposition there in B4. And those who are here in Munich, I see some of you, are cordially invited to take part in test drives with innovative bike-by-wire solutions or electrical driving without steering wheel. And with this, Mr. Rosenfeld, I pass the floor back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Matthias Zink. After this fireworks of ideas and innovation, it's very difficult to wrap up. So I would like to be very brief. Transformation is going full blast, and we regard transformation as a positive thing. We want to position Scheffler for the future. You saw all the different examples, and I think I cannot add anything to this. So we are on an excellent path forward, innovation and growth and e-mobility, but also when it comes to the chassis systems. All the different sections were mentioned. I don't want to repeat it, but let me mention the example of hydrogen. We have a fuel cell here, and definitely this is a technology which is also an integral part of our portfolio, maybe a little later when it comes to passenger cars and earlier in commercial vehicles, but very important. And I'm very glad and proud, and thank you very much to the automotive colleagues. The order log is very, very full. It will become fuller. So we now have to start thinking about what do we do, what don't we do. A lot of progress, so I'm very confident when it comes to the future. We are on track in order to shape sustainable mobility. I'm glad to see you all here. I'm very glad about your lively interest in this press conference. Thank you very much for your attention. Enjoy IAA. It is a very important event this year at this point in time. And we are glad to be here. And with this, I think the broadcast is over. But... Of course, we are available for questions here at the booth. Thank you very much, and back to you. Well, we are well on time, and of course, if media represent representatives would like to ask questions here, they are very welcome to do so. If you give me a show of hands, I will come to you with my microphone.
Let's change this code score. Okay, maybe you Let's can give us your name yeah. first, Markus Winterhagen. I have a question regarding the cooperation, the rolling chassis. What kind of vehicle classes uh, does this aim at? Is it people mover chassis or, in inverted commas, true cars? Well, maybe you can answer this in full. Well, regarding technology, it's a mobile drive and the self-driving system is pre-integrated here and on the basis, on the rolling chassis by Scheffler, it can be used for different vehicle classes. It is basically fully flexible. We support everything, a two-seat port up to a 12 to 16-seat shuttle and the configuration when it comes to sensors, um, cameras and the level 4 control unit supports autonomous driving up to 130 kilometers per hour and depends on the product and the different countries um, whether you can um, get these vehicles approved, how and in which area of application the vehicle is used. Well, we cannot give you a final answer because this area is being um, developed. Uh, I heard robot taxi and I had initial talks regarding a bus this morning, so we wait until we have an enabling partnership and then we will see the developing of the platform. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Well, uh, there is no show of hands at the moment, so thank you very much. And you are very welcome to visit us at the booth, ask questions. We have a lot of engineers here, a lot of representatives of the management, and the communication department, of course, will help you as well when it comes to answering questions. With this, I'd like to close the press conference, and I'd like to thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.